Uh, the Ramones are here, and the reason we're late is because they were spending so much time in the makeup room, what, 40 or 45 minutes, weren't you? Take a long time to get ready for camera. No, we were just right? primping a bit. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you know that crimp look? No, no, no. <laughs> I guess not. Uh, welcome to the Much Music Studios. You're talking about another band. No, no, I, you were in makeup doing that with the crimp thing. Well, yeah. I didn't uh, use one of your makeup artists, you know, I figured I'll just... Uh, do it yourself? Do it quick. Yeah, I understand. I you crimped this morning. Did you crimp this morning? We were crimping, I and, we were crimping and then there was a big, uh, a big fire in the hotel, right, Rich? Yeah. So you brought your lunch with you? As soon as I, you know, we just got out of bed and the bells were ringing and they said, uh, the elevators aren't working, we were on the 14th floor, it was crazy. So I said, your day's been off to a good start then? Yeah. Great. Right. Right. It's a good way to wake up on this set. Uh, this is a trite question, but... This is trite? This is a trite question. Uh, There'll be a number of trite questions in this little interview segment. Why the, why the Ramones? Why do you call yourselves the Ramones? Why not? No, I just, just why. Yeah, why not? Twelve, thirteen years ago, why would, why would you ask, why would you call yourselves the Ramones? Because nobody's yeah, named Ramon. It had, nice, had a nice uh, ring to it. Ramones had a nice ring to it? Right. Yeah. How do you find a drummer named Ramon? We did. Richie. Richie Ramon. Yeah. Yeah. It's sheer, it's sheer yeah. coincidence. We, you know, sheer coincidence. We all met. We all had the same last name, and we said, let's put a band together. Come That's on. what we did. Yeah. What's yeah. your real last name? Ramon. Ramon. Yes. What do you mean? Boy, oh boy. That's, that's limiting things when you say the pre first prerequisite is the person's last name has to be Ramon. A little weird. Uh, Tangerine Puppets, that was what the band was called, like... No, no. John, John was in a band called the Tangerine Puppets. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That had nothing to do with me or Richie. Nothing at all? No. No, oh, boy. That research thing. Um, innovators of punk rock, that's been said a million, billion that's, times. That's true. It's 1987. That's 1987. Is punk rock out of context for the times? Yeah, it's, it's a reaction to, it's a reaction against all the mediocrity and pretentiousness, and that's been with us for hundreds of years. Yeah. And it's still here in 1987, and that's why we're still here. Yeah, there's a need for it, but has there, has there been um, pressure from outside sources or uh, self-imposed pressure to change with the times? Of it? No, no, we, we just we do what we want to do. You know, we uh, we call the shots, and uh, we, you know, you want to make it on your own terms. Yeah. You're not into compromise, and then, uh, you know, that's, that's, you know, that's we, we, you know we're doing it because, uh, it excites us. Mm -hmm. We're doing it for our fans. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. How, how has it changed from 13 years ago till to now? What, what you well, do? Well, I think I think we're doing it better. You know, I think uh, I think it's I think it's better than, right now than it's ever been. It's the best lineup. It's great having Richie in the band, and uh, you know, it's everything. Uh, I don't know. I'm happy. Yeah. It's still You're happy, Richie. Uh, you look like your towel. Yeah. <laughs> Got something on your tooth, by the way. Hmm? Got something on your tooth there. Oh. It's on your tooth. He's <laughs> <laughs> trying to make you feel at ease. You know, it's trying to break that ice that always exists in one of these interviews. It's for that omelet. <laughs> the, the last, the last LP have have synthesizers on it. Right? No, it? no, no. It was um. It was not synthesizer. It sure sounds it. What was it? It was one that? song, something to believe in. That had some. That had though. some. Yeah. yeah. It's very underlined. It's since. very, it's yeah. not, it's not, you know. It's not a matter of having to change what you were doing. No, I mean, no. like, hey, there's, hey, there's all different ways of utilizing instrumentation in the basis of the track. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, some people want to, you know, some people are really into the, the commercial way to go. They just want to make money quick. Mm -hmm. And like some people, like um, you know, like there's ways of, of of working, you know, with various, you know, I mean, like uh, burying it into the track, sort of uh, makes the track fuller. But uh, you know, doesn't you know? We're not. Uh, You're still just the bass and the guitar and the drums. Right. That's well, there's just there's, yeah, basically that's what we are. But you know, there's ways of there's ways of utilizing things to make ways uh, of adding a little color to yeah certain, to, to color certain sort certain of material. yeah into weave color into the to the song yeah, without 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 no I mean being so apparent like most bands. Uh, Joey, you've always been the focal point of the band, though somebody. Who saw you in New York? Well, just because you're right in front. Somebody, in the middle. Yeah, he's in the middle. That's he right. He blocks the stage. Oh, so, somebody who saw you guys in New York recently, who is a, an immense fan, a passionate, passionate fan of yours, which you have so many. 
was saying that there seems to be factions now, that there are... Terrorist factions? Yeah, not terrorist factions. There seem to be like Joey Ramone fans and Didi Ramone fans that you can actually physically well, that's, see. Well, that's sort of true. Yeah? Is that, yeah. Is that new and why is, why is, is Didi coming? It, no, it's always been that way. It's always, I mean, we've always, uh, the fact that we're four distinctive personnel, you know, and people are attracted to different people. Right, you know, people. Fans, that's why I like some, favorite some people like Richie yeah. and some people don't like him. Yeah. I like him. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are fans of uh, a band called The Except he's got that thing on his tooth, though, still. Get it. <laughs> the Chesterfield Kings? What about them? You're, you're fans of them, huh? Diddy, no. Diddy uh, wrote a song for them. Yeah? Yeah, they're, they're good guys. Yeah. What are you guys listening to? They're mad. To? They're mad? Mad. Is that good or bad? You tell me. All right. Uh, are you... I like the Who. They were mad. Yeah. They were. Who are, what new music are you guys listening to? No, I, I like I like them. They're all right. I mean, then I'll, you know, I'm not going to really I'm not going to put my foot in my mouth and say anything about them one way or the other. Yeah. But I think they're all right. Yeah. Who who do you like? Who are you? Who are you fans of? The, I don't know. I like the, the, some of the cult. I like the cult. AC/DC. Sam Hain. Sam Hain. Motorhead. Yeah. Motorhead. I like Dick Manitoba's new band, Wild Kingdom, and Richie Stas and the Rattlers and. Uh, yeah, are these guys having any effect on you other than just being uh, detached observers and listening to it? Are they having any effect on you? I do. In your writing and performance? So. No, we just appreciate great music, that's all. Yeah. Okay. We're going to do uh, something to believe in here. These are the Ramones, and they're in our studios, and we'll be back. Just well, actually, it's that guy in the cult that made me grow my hair a little while. Yeah, and made you crimp? <laughs> made me crimp. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me get my too. Yeah. <laughs> This is just a game show. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, it was just well, the, the threat of... Me, see, he threatened to cut my hair yet again, so anyway. I thought I would retaliate or return the favor. Yes. Uh, you guys... We're going to cut your throat, actually. My throat? It's going to look like I'm in the military. That's it, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah, but. Um, you guys have never really had a, one of those bona fide, you know, unequivocally, undeniably hit singles. That bug you? That must just, that much is not, must nah, not that's your not, craw. That's not what we're all about, see. So we're, we, you know, there's more to us than that. Yeah. You know, like we changed the course of rock history in uh, 76, you know. I think we um, brought a whole new attitude, new sound, a new spirit, and new excitement and fun to m music that was no longer there. And, uh, and you know, in, uh, in a sense, revolutionized rock and roll. That, that affected everybody yeah. to this day. Bands like Metallica and like incorporate our sound and you know with metal and uh, and everybody uses our sound as a basis for their for their own mm -hmm. you know. And I think that's that says yeah. a whole lot more than uh, having uh, being a one hit wonder or something like that. Yeah. Well, obviously, would you shun having a hit single though? Would you? I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, it'd be nice to have I mean, one. You know, it's, it, it, the only thing that's a bit frustrating is that uh, you know we really. Um, Everything we do, we put, you know, 100% of, every, you know, like, integrity is like the most important thing to us and uh, high ideals, you know, and principles. And uh, our albums are great, mm -hmm. you know, we make the best albums. This is our 10th studio album. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> Why it hasn't happened. If you I, had to, if you had to I mean, make... you know, I feel, I feel we're commercial without trying to be, you know, and I feel like uh, we've always made the best records, and, uh, yeah. and it's proven by the critics and the, and the kids and the alike. Fans, yeah, you know? the legions. Yeah. If you had to make that subtle compromise, though, in order to, in order to get the hit single, would you do it? No, would you compromise no, yourself? No. Even a little bit? Why, why should we do it? We've been together 13 years. I mean, that's how we're about. We don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> You guys, um, you guys have a sense of humor, and you have a sense of, I mean, it sounds like a pompous term, but it's social consciousness. Where's that fine line? Well, we, ha we have a conscience. Yes, you do. You do. But there, there's, a, there's a fine line somewhere, you know, where you can, you can make a political statement, and it just comes across as way too pompous, just too pushy. And that's where the sense of humor thing comes in, and you can lighten it up, and everybody will listen to what you well, have to say. Where's that fine we're, line? We're a multi-dimensional band, you know, and uh, we, we, can, we can really, you know, speak out. I mean... I feel like what we said, like say Bonzo goes to Bitburg, you know, I mean, it, w it was a reaction, you know, we were, we were outraged by his uh, actions going over the SS Grays, I mean, that was, uh, but I mean, a lot, of, a lot of bands, you know, like, are political bands, and uh, I think that's being a bit hypocritical, you know what I mean, because I feel the time to speak at is when, uh, when you're angry about something or you want to make a statement, you know, I mean, but there's a lot of sides to us, I mean, you know, and we sing about, uh, 
our own feelings and things that uh, affect us, our relationships, emotions, you know, kind of deals. Uh, I mean, I don't know, whatever. We, I mean, we can do whatever we want, you know, because we do it well. What's the kind of thing that you guys find funny? Comics and uh, we find your haircut kind of funny. <laughs> Give me these. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll see him tonight at RPM, and he'll have a lot less hair. <laughs> Let me tell you that. Now, what's the kind of what's the kind of thing that you find funny? Comics. Life. Huh? Life. Yes. Daryl. Yes. Yeah. Life, life is, you have to life. treat as a little bit comical at times. You know, you take it too serious. Life is sick. You know? But it's. It's life. It's life. It's living. It's something to do during the something day. Something to do during the day. Yeah. So Phil Spector was probably your favorite producer to ever work with, eh? No, who said that? I you? I just made that up. I'm trying to goad you. Richard's my favorite producer. He produced our, our forthcoming record Which entitled is Halfway to Sanity. Halfway to Sanity, and will be available. Actually, I did, a, I did some of the work, didn't I, Rich? Yeah. And will be available when? Yeah, September 1st. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, on, on Warner Brothers Records. Is that, or WEA, what is it? <laughs> so, it's one of the two. Yeah. Oh, right here? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Um, so really first, good. you guys are doing RPM. Yeah. That would be on, what date now? That was last well, night. Well, it was last night, tonight, tonight. and tomorrow. Oh, okay. And then and, Ottawa. Yeah, and you're playing where? At the Carleton, Carleton uh, University. Uh, University. Yeah. Carleton University. Institute of Higher Learning. Yes. Yeah. yes. And then back to the United you States. You never learn enough. Yeah. Yeah. We we'll keep that mind busy because we're going to start a major touring when the album comes out. I keep my mind busy by watching this uh, channel here. Do you really? Yeah, watching those, hours uh, a day in those, stereo? those wonderful videos. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, <laughs> do you do you video? Do you like videos? Here's here's the deal. Listen, um, actually, we're getting ready Joe, to do another Joe one. Jackson, oh, yeah. Joe Jackson said this number of times that he feels he's compromising himself by doing videos because he isn't. Uh, an actor. He's he's a musician and a songwriter, he and he felt the, he felt the, he felt the obligation to do it. If I look like that guy, I wouldn't want to do that video. <laughs> do you guys? I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be in the video. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, we can make you look like that. Give me these scissors here. <laughs> this will be up first. We'll make Joey Ramon look like Joe Jackson. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. Do you, do, you, do you like doing videos? Uh, is it an enjoyable part of the uh, music no. process? It's, it's a video. lot of work, you know, but I think two that we've done recently, you know, the psychotherapy and stuff, uh, and this something to believe in are good videos, you know. You got to be careful with videos so they're not, you know, they get or, hokey and, you know, you don't put like all the, every video today is, you know, tits and ass. I saw yeah. a real hokey video, yeah. that new U. Lewis video. Yeah. That's pretty hokey. Yeah, that's, that was act, acting. You know, they throw these girls in there, you know. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Okay, well, the best of luck at RPM tonight and tomorrow, and uh, Carlton University on what day exactly, did you say? Oh, that would be uh, Friday. On Friday. <laughs> Let's just get kind of a little Joey Ramon. You really are. Thank you. Really busy really busy you yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're going to make a voodoo doll, aren't you? I know you're trying. Richie, okay. thank you for coming by. This is uh, <laughs> Rock and Roll High School. Guys, the Ramones on Much Music. <laughs>